Hi, I'm Cheryl Hunter. Today's video is about how to deal with critics. I was watching American Idol at the beginning of the season. There was a girl that was so excited as she went in to sing for the judges. They didn't like her. She left screaming at them, you will be sorry. Have you ever felt like that? I know I have. Who hasn't, right? <laughs> I have this client who's a hairdresser and lately she's gotten some bad reviews online. One of the things that most upset her is the person who gave her the bad reviews never came to her first so that she could make it right. And now she's forever got these bad reviews written about her online. Now, whether your critics have written things that are negative about you online or they've just told them to you, the impact of negative criticism really seems like it can last forever in our minds. I mean, I don't know about you, but it seems oftentimes that no matter how many good things we hear, it's the bad things that we hold on to. Can you relate? It was a big decision for me to swing out on my own as a coach after years of having been a coach for hire for other companies. Despite the fact that I'd spoken publicly in front of tens of thousands of people, I have a shy side. I don't know if it's because I you know, had a brain injury as a kid and grew up with epilepsy, probably. But it took me months of deliberating back and forth before I finally was willing to just swing out and go ahead and go public and put myself and myself online. Now, no sooner did I do that than immediately I got a negative review on one of my, or you know, a dislike on one of my videos on YouTube. Now, you might say like, what's the big deal? What's one dislike? Who cares? And yes, in the grand scheme of things, who cares? But at that time, that one dislike made me want to hide, take everything down offline and just quit. So at that point, it hit me. You know, some people are just going to criticize. It's what they do. They are forever going to judge. So now what? I realized it doesn't make any difference to criticize the critics. Like, in terms of going for your dreams, it would be an awful hollow victory if you did it to simply make somebody else feel sorry rather than make yourself feel happy. In a minute, I'm going to read to you one of my favorite quotes. It's a Theodore Roosevelt quote. I hope you love it as much as I do. But I invite you to listen to it from a new perspective. I invite you to listen to it from the perspective of it bolstering you and all that you're up to rather than criticizing the critics. They're on their own path. Let them be. They've got critics, certainly, of their own. Rise above them. Compete not with them, but compete with your highest vision for yourself in your life. All right, Theodore, take it away. It is not the critic who counts. It is not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, and who strives valiantly. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the subject. In the meantime, get out there and strive valiantly, you champions, you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.